guys, so January has ended. It is February now. How was your first month? Mine was pretty okay, actually. I managed to keep up with all my scheduled videos. I exercised, I kept up eating healthy, so I feel pretty good about myself. To reflect upon the month that has been, I figured we would go through my January favorites. So, for my favorite drink of the month, I was actually thinking about it quite a lot and for this month I would actually have to say water. <laughs> because I've sort of always been rather dehydrated. So what I did this month was that I started looking into how much water my body actually needed a day and how I could match that up. And then a friend recommended me this app called Plant Nanny. And basically what it is, you plant a little plant and you water it by drinking a glass of water. So it will tell you how many glasses of water you need a day. You just fill them in as you go throughout the day and it will help your plant grow and it's just super duper cute. Now moving on to my favorite books. If you watched my Goals 2016 video, you will know that I'm trying to read more <laughs> throughout this year. During the month of January, I actually think I read about eight or nine books. Yeah, nine books, um, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna read one every other week uh, so to have pulled off nine, I'm really, really proud of myself. I read mostly non-fiction uh, books and if you want to check out which ones I read during the month of January, you can go into my Goodreads, add me up as a friend and check out my reading challenge if you would like. Uh, my favorite book of the month would have been In Order to Live by Yonmi Park. I feel like a lot of people have been talking about this book. Uh, it's Yomi Park's own story of how she fled from North Korea, how she grew up there, and then how she managed to flee to first China and then uh, through the desert uh, on her way to South Korea, uh, South Korea. So it's a really, really interesting book. I think it gave me a different perspective of what it's like to live in North Korea because for me, I've mostly read the kind of books where someone flees from a camp and this girl didn't live in a camp and I definitely recommend you to read it. For this month as well, I've also been listening to a lot more music than I usually would, so I'm super duper happy about that as well. My favorite song of the month would be The Sound by the band The 1975 and I just love them. They sound really, really great and this has been my jam for the month of January. As always, I will leave the link in the description box and you can go check it out and listen to it yourself. If you know me, you know that I watch a whole lot of television. So for my favorite TV show of the month, uh, I'm actually gonna talk about a Netflix show and that is Aziz Ansari's Master of None. And I am so sold on this show. At first, I was sort of like, oh, this is not living up to the hype because everyone has been talking about it. But then watching it, I feel like it discusses a whole lot of important issues. I feel like it's just a good representation of things that I feel don't always get represented in television shows or, or any type of films and stuff. So I definitely enjoyed this. In one episode, they also <laughs> featured this clock. They tell the story of how time passes through this clock and I just fell in love with it. I Google searched forever until I found it and it's so, so expensive, but I feel like I need to have this clock in my life. So it's actually gotten so bad that I have it as my background picture on my phone. <laughs> but I, like, I'm dreaming about it. It's been my favorite clock of the month. Um, hopefully I can get it someday. Moving on to my favorite vice of the month, I actually have three things to show you, which is really strange because I usually don't buy a lot of things, but I guess that this month was sort of a shopping spree. The first thing I would like to show you is from H&M, and I actually got a gift card there, so that's why I was there shopping. Uh, but we have a buttercream dream body mist with a vanilla bergamot sweet musk. Uh, it's a body mist, and it smells so, so good. Um, it's really, really cheap. I think it was only like 40 Swedish crowns, not even that. I will convert that to like dollars or something so that you guys can understand. As you can see, I haven't used a lot of it because I'm trying to use up the one that I'm currently using because I only have like a little, little tiny amount left of that one. I'm really looking forward to using this because it smells amazing and it smells amazing on me. So that one is a big plus. Cheap and it smells good. 
And then for a second thing from H&M that I really enjoyed is this um, skirt. I don't know if you can see it properly. Hopefully it will focus on this. I think I wore it in my When Things End video. Uh, I probably did. <laughs> And so if you want to see how it looks on me, you can go check that one out. I will leave a link somewhere. But anyway, I bought this. I've been wanting one of these like fake suede material skirts for ages. And I thought, you know, it's January, it's the new year. I'm allowed to buy myself something that I really want. This one was also really cheap. Uh, as you can see, I currently stained it because I've been wearing it too much. But I really, really enjoy this one and it's cute. So yeah. And then for my final favorite buy of the month, it's actually, uh, I don't think you can see it right now, I'm currently sitting on it, but it's this rug from uh, Ikea and I've been wanting one of these for ages as well. I used to have them when I was a little kid and I used to lie on them and love them and it was a really, really nice time for me and I just love everything fluffy. Um, so we finally decided to buy one because I had a gift card at Ikea as well. So. That was what that went towards. <laughs> Those were my favorite buys of the month. Uh, I look very Swedish considering they're both from H&M and Ikea. But yeah, I am a Swedish girl. For my favorite snack of the month, I don't actually have it with me because I ate it. I've been trying to sna snack more healthily as uh, promised. So what I did this month was we uh, checked up the discounts and we found that they, they had a discount on blueberries. So we bought them, had them with a little bit of milk and it's delicious. Like blueberries and milk together is probably one of the greatest things ever. So I do recommend that. If you don't drink milk, you could drink almond milk or soy milk or any other type of milk. Probably better, but you know. For my favorite creative project of the month, it's this project that I started with my sister. And I have a very, very talented sister. She is a musician and I wanted to help her distribute her music. And so the idea was formed that we were going to create our own label. So that's what we're currently doing. I'm not going to talk too much about it because we're really, really just in the beginning phase of it. We got ourselves a website that we're currently working on. Um, but I will update you guys on that. But it's really been fun to sit down and Skype with my sister every Sunday because she lives really far away. I don't get to see her too often. And just like doing this project with her feels like we're like talking to each other more and I really appreciate that. And then for my last favorite of this month, the etc. favorite, I am actually introducing something that my talented sister has actually made for me. This is a painting uh, that she made um, and that's supposed to be me and my boyfriend because she's a really talented illustrator as well. Come on, she got all the talent, I believe. But. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, I can't wait because we're actually moving in the upcoming months and I can't wait to put this up in our new apartment and this, looking at this just makes me really happy because I think she captured us rather well and I love our long necks and everything so this one, I, I adore it. If you want to check out my sister's YouTube channel, I will link to that in the description as well because she is a really talented singer and you might want to listen to some music this morning or this evening or whenever you're watching this. <laughs> so that was basically everything for this month. What were your favorites? Please do tell me down below and I will see you soon. Bye!